Hi, I'm Shelly from Anderson and & Associates, and I have my friend David Pisano from LEP Construction is here today. Um, he does a majority of our home inspections, and we're going to talk a little bit about the different types of inspections and what his expertise is on. Thanks for coming today, David. Thanks for having me. Great. So somebody is just purchasing a new home, mm -hmm. and they're told that they need an inspection. What would that mean to you? Well, we offer quite a few services. So we offer what's called a pre-purchase inspection where someone just wants to know a little bit more about the house. And so we can either schedule it through uh, a pre-purchase inspection. A lot of the times they'll talk in, to an insurance agent, they'll talk to a mortgage broker, and they'll let them know, oh, by the way, you're also gonna need these additional inspections. And those can range anywhere from a wind mitigation inspection, a four point inspection, or a roof certification inspection. So we provide services for any inspection that they may need, whether it's a modular home, a mobile home, or your conventional home, condo, townhome, anything like that. I do know that for insurance purposes, um, the four point inspection, we kind of have a rule of thumb. It's usually like 20 to 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, newer houses, it's not required. Correct. Um, and for the wind mitigation inspections, there's also a year. Mm -hmm. Um, where the house is either, either a certain age or the roof was replaced, mm -hmm. um, 2002, am I correct? Correct, it's uh, anything that's after March 1st of 2002. And March 1st, that's kind of a tricky, the, the little caveat. Exactly, yep. The discount that you can give a homeowner for having that wind mitigation is incredible. Um, what are some of the things that you're looking at? Well, what we're looking at and how I start an inspection is we generally take photos of all four sides of the house. And what it does is it shows the insurance agency condition of the home, the roof design, and the roof covering. But what we're also looking at is we're looking at their openings, windows, doors, garage doors, service doors, anything like that to see whether it's impact resistant or not, or if they have something to protect it. So that's the general condition of the home. Then getting into the attic, we're looking at three things. We're looking at the nailing pattern. So how the plywood is attached to the truss, how the truss itself is connected to the structure, and then what the underlayment is. The underlayment is the uh, material that goes on prior to the shingle, tile, metal roof, whatever roof covering they have. Um, the metal connector that we're looking at, when the truss is connected to the structure, which is at original construction, is what's the nailing pattern? Do they have a minimum of three nails attaching it? So that's a credit, the underlayment is a credit, and then of course how the plywood's attached to the truss is also an additional credit. Shape of the roof. Shape of the roof, um, all of those things are a factor. And as far as the hurricane protection, mm -hmm. um, I've also ran into a couple of times where a homeowner says, well, I've got hurricane shutters and my house is good but it might be the garage door was not. Correct, it is an all or nothing when it comes to the inspection for the hurricane protection. So plywood is acceptable, but it has to meet a minimum thickness requirement. They can have metal storm panels, they can have the Lexon storm panels, which are the clear panels, and they also have a newer product, which is a, a storm catcher, which is a Kevlar product that they can utilize. Is that similar to this, it's just kind of like a screen, isn't it? It is a screen, and it's uh, made out of Kevlar. The roll down short, uh, shutters, accordion shutters, things like that, those are all uh, acceptable items, but again, all or nothing. And then of course the garage door is one large factor as well because again, just the size of the opening that it protects. What about skylights? Skylights are an additional one, yep. It would also have to be an impact resistant. Um, there's no covering for a skylight, so it would itself have to be impact resistant. If somebody wants to know a little bit more about what you do, you have a website that has a lot of information. I do on my website, uh, which is L E P cs.com. Um, I've got a lot of information on there as to, again, just a little breakdown on what we're looking at during a wind mitigation, a four point, and even a roof certification inspection. The costs would be on there also? Costs are on a, there. A phone number for you? Phone number's on there. My licensing information is also on there. And again, any additional services because I have a home watch service that I also provide for clients that are seasonal, um, and I also do photography as well for anything on a pre-purchase inspection or MLS listings, things like that, that people might be interested in having photos taken. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks, thank you David. for having me.